Chuck. Yeah. We had a gas pipeline hack. Tell me about it. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, disrupting the, the fuel pumps in the east coast of the United States. And driving prices up. Yeah. Uh, okay, and that got me thinking about gasoline. So, <laughs> That's what did it. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> no, I just got I got thinking. I just want to share some thoughts I had okay, about I, gasoline. I am intrigued. So it's a reminder, first of all, how dependent we are, or at least that our transportation grid is dependent on this one source of fuel, gasoline. Okay, so so that's a that makes gasoline a strategic commodity. Just want to say, I love the, I love your government dirty talk there. <laughs> strategic commodity. Strategic commodity. <laughs> yes. I'm not a government speak. So, <laughs> so a couple of things about gasoline. The reason why it it is so hard to shake the gas habit. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, in the form of oil, but it's just sitting there in the ground, and chemically, it contains so much energy, in the form of chemical bonds, that you just take it out of the ground and it used to be over here, now I put it over there. Oh, you need energy over there? Let me take it there, right? right? So so you, it, the transportability of it is a very hard habit to shake. It's so transportable that you can transport it and use it at the same time. At the same time. <laughs> exactly right. Right. It's like, let me let me put 15 gallons of gas in my car, use that gas to get to my garage, and I still got gas left over. Exactly. Okay. So part of the evidence that it contains this energy is that gasoline is flammable. Okay. You know, extinguish all matches and cigarettes and thing when you're at the pump. And now all the gas gas stations have these uh, uh, fire extinguisher hoses. You ever look up yeah. at, at a gas station? Yeah, they have them right above the pump now. Right, right above the pump. Yeah. And so now those TV scenes where the whole gas station is on Blows fire up, that can't do it anymore. You can't do it anymore because it all gets extinguished. Yeah, and yeah. they all use like foam or halon, so it's not Fun. even like, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So just a reminder that it's flammable. But there's something I think you should know about this so so flammability is not whether the thing itself will burn but will it burn in the presence of oxygen typically that's combustion wait a minute Fla inflammable means flammable <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started on words that should be different and are not okay <laughs> you know when i was 13 i looked up the definition northerly because I heard weather forecasters say northerly winds today oh, going 15. So I looked up northerly and it said coming out of the north. That was the first definition. The second definition, <laughs> going towards, towards the, the north. north. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? What am I? Right. Well, I'm, a, I'm in middle school and I'm supposed to make sense of this. Please. Right. Grown ups, can you do better than this? Here's my point if you have gasoline, there's no oxygen in it to make it combust so if you were quick or if you came in from below you could take a match and extinguish it in the liquid gasoline a, a trick that i don't want to try, try. <laughs> it's because <laughs> gasoline is not itself flammable right. but you know what is it's vapors right and gasoline is vaporous down to very low temperatures. Most things, they get less smelly when you cool them down, right? That's why you heat food and you smell and the aromas and all of this. Gasoline at 100 degrees, 50, zero, 10 below, 20 below, that is cranking out it the molecules. It stinks of gasoline. Okay, and what are you smelling? You're smelling gasoline, gasoline molecules vapors, right? vaporizing up. And when you have a gasoline molecule floating above the liquid, it is surrounded by free oxygen right. in the air. So when you take a match and come near a supply of gasoline, it will ignite long before that match gets to the surface of the liquid. 
it will ignite the vapors. And since you're like an American guy you and you own a, a home, you've probably tried to help the coals ignite by throwing a little gasoline on the fire. Of course. <laughs> now that's a fire. That, that's, that's, this is like, entry, this is like, like rights of passage. Of course. To, for, the, for the barbecue, Let right? Let me tell you something. You ain't had a barbecue until you had to call the fire department. <laughs> Okay. So, <laughs> so, so if you've ever done this, you just might. You, you only do it once, and you had to wait till your eyebrows grow back. Right. But to take gasoline near a fire, what ignites is the vapor, and that's how it can make this. What looks, what's basically what's a conflagration. A conflagration, as distinct from an explosion, is a moving wave of fire through whatever it is that's that's flammable. And so if you have uh, f fumes, right? So here they go. Here they go. If you ignite that, those fumes will ignite. And where are they going to take you to? All the way back to the source. Yes. Okay. That is the backdraft. Yes. And, and once you do that, then the whole thing goes. Because right above the surface of that, it is more. It, and, it, and, you'll, you'll, it, and it happens quickly and fast. And you basically take out the whole room. So funny you bring this up right now. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because I gas was on my mind. I'm, I'm sorry. No, by I the mean, way. So my sister and I were having this conversation yesterday because she had a fire in her how in her home and her uh, housemate came downstairs and panicked when she saw the fire. And my sister was trying to get the fire extinguisher going and the young woman who never took a science course in her class, in her life, ran to the door and opened the door to let the smoke out. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, to let in more oxygen is what's and, happened in that, right. And boom. And right, yeah, if you don't know the chemistry of that, you, you, it's a problem. Yeah. And so, and, and so, for example, Chuck, do you remember the scene in, in Raiders of the Lost Ark where um, Indiana Jones gets into a fight underneath that Nazi airplane yes. um, at the at the at the camp at the excavation camp, Classic. and they, they get into a fight. But and somebody shoots a gun, and there's gasoline, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, spilling airplane out of the fuel, tank, and it's spilling towards... out of the tank as the plane rotates. Right. So there's a there's like a path of gasoline, and then there's some other fire, and then it ignites. Right. Does the whole thing blow up at once? No, no. it's a moving flame. On the on the vapors of the gas that finally makes its way over to the tank. Right. Okay. So the gasoline itself is not the thing. It's got to actually catch the vapors. That's all I'm saying. Oh, and by the way, you know what volatile means in geochemistry? I do not. Volatile simply means it's easy to evaporate. Oh, okay. That's a very simple, easy explanation. I really only know one explanation of volatile, and it has to do with relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get into your therapy sessions just, here. Yeah, yeah. And pretty much all of mine have been exactly that. Uh, there's only one factor that remains the same in all of them, but we won't talk about that. The volatility. Yeah, we won't talk so, about that. So I just want to say that in common parlance, when we think of something that's volatile, we think of the fact that it can ignite. And by the way, alcohol is among them. Right. When you, when you light alcohol, you're, you're first lighting the fumes of the alcohol, and then the fumes will just stay there. Alcohol is not as explosive uh, chemically as gasoline is. But if you take a pool of alcohol and light it, just watch it. It's basically the, the fumes above. The flames, well, the, the, last the, I looked. The, right, the actual liquid never catches fire. It's not actually on fire. Right, right. it's the same with the, with the sterno underneath the... Absolutely. The, 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 just the take sterno, a look down in the there. The sterno cup, the flame is always hovering right at the opening of the sterno. At the opening, exactly. Yeah. That's, you got it. Dude, that is so cool. All right, that's it. We got it. That's our that's our celebration of gasoline. There you go. That's the only celebration of gasoline because the takeaway green energy, people. That's the takeaway here. Green energy, yeah, time to go to electric. Time to go and to you electric. Can watch other people wait online for their one gallon of, of ration gas. There you go. All right. This is Star Talk Explainer. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up.